Hi, my name is Max Whaley, author of the Whale Money Channel. Uh, we were born of steel with a hunger for learning and the power to love. Nothing can stop us. Welcome to Whale Money. This is the perspective on the nine grid for my students. This is day one of Whale Money Online Learning. Um, this is Monday, April the 6th. I have two assignments to do this week by Friday. Um, they should take between 15 minutes and 30 minutes each to do as long as you're focused on them and not trying to watch my YouTube channel while you're doing them. Uh, this will guide this video will guide you through how to use my Google Classroom and YouTube to get your lessons and why you're doing them, not just for a grade, but for the meaning you make yourself. Most importantly, I hope you can feel through my efforts that a lot of collaboration with other teachers and mentors and even my own children goes into the learning experience I try to foster with you. And I want to make sure channels are open so you can contribute to a positive learning experience for our classroom community. More on that uh, here in a second. Um, but first, a quick meme. Maybe not that quick. Just replace coworker with teacher. The face you make when your teacher talks too much. Um, okay, so uh, the Google Slides and the Nine Grid Student Choice Board. Um, I'm going to run through these. So on Google Classroom. You would have seen this. No, you wouldn't have seen that first. You would have seen this first. Uh, Whale Money Talks on the YouTube. Um, as you clicked that, you got to this video, I imagine, if you weren't already subscribed. And you went to this page, uh, Whale Money Codes on Classroom. So just real quick, what it says here. You know, in the past, you're used to my assignments being like one unit 1.1, one, unit 1.2. And so the assignments will correlate from Google Classroom to Skyward. So you'll, you'll know where the grade goes, but you'll have choices. So the code will be the same no matter which choice you use. Moving on past the codes. I think I... One page stuck together. No, I didn't. I imagine that. Okay, it's just this is good quality paper here. Um, next one is choose it and click it. That's what you're doing. How will the student know what to learn, how to learn, and why? I'm reading this backwards if you can't tell. Um, and here's how you're going to look at this and you're going to choose from the nine grid. You're going to choose two of these each week. So by Friday this week, April 10th, you'll have done two of these. Okay. So I'm just going to run through real quick. This one's uh, CTE uh, e-learning resources to so explore any of those. Um, this is basic career preparation. So if you still don't know your career, if you do know your career, um, then focus on what you know you want to do and keep and explore it and concentrate on that. Um, and you're going to turn in a poster of what you learned. Um, and it, it, sa it says all you need right here. Um, this one you're going to share in a spreadsheet like this. Um, you're going to put your name here, name and period. Uh, all of my classes are going to be on this. Put your name and the period. And here put uh, what's been difficult about the past few weeks and then in a sentence and then how you've coped or conquered um, the difficulties. Um, and right here in the, in the green column, you're going to put any question you have. This is the, what do you need to know? So this could be, are we having graduation? It could be, um, I don't understand what adhesion it means in the immune response. Um, it could be anything like that. And then if you see questions here that, you know the answer to, or you think you know the answer to, you're almost sure of it, then you can answer it for your fellow student. So this is something that can be encouraging to us. 
and we can help each other out in our community, in our classroom community. Um, here on this uh, violet colored column, we've got um, nervous system, uh, tattoos, uh, what makes tattoos permanent. This actually has to do with the immune system. Um, and this and these bottom three, orange, blue, and violet, these are all forensic files that you can watch and you're gonna produce something related to that. Um, right here in the middle is wash hands and uh, make a video or slides presentation or a written explanation uh, based on what's on this link. This one, for the specific instructions, you gotta click that link and I have a Google Doc uh, that I collaborated with uh, Mr. Voss um, on and uh, oh, it's really cool. Um, up here is flattening the curve. So this goes to a website. I don't know if your other teachers have used uh, News Ella or News ELA. Um, so uh, there's an article and it has a, a graph that I want you to pay attention to if you do that one about flattening the curve. And this is related to why have we had to shut everything down or uh, ma uh, maintain minimum distance or maximum six feet distance from people and uh, be isolated and such. Okay, that's really the heart and soul of it. Does, that's your nine grid. Um, you're going to choose two of those this week. Uh, but guess what? Guess what? Um, I've decided uh, to give you a sort of a freebie, not really a freebie. I want you to, if you so choose, you can do two of those or you can do one of those. Plus, uh, I want you to substitute for any one of those a personalized meme for me. Uh, you can low-key roast me or roast yourself in my class, um, and I'll give you a grade on it. Um, the reason for that is you're building classroom community. Um, this relates to teamwork, uh, just being that that playing that role um, in uh, the workplace is important, bringing people together, um, and this will make it feel for us uh, like we're together, even though we're physically scattered. Okay, so I've done the main thing is the nine grid. I've given you a substitute thing uh, to do if you want for one of those. Um, and third, I want to I want you to tell your friends and tell yourself um, that if I can't get in touch with you, if I'm not hearing from you um, or your parents. Uh, we're not connecting um, electronically, virtually. Um, I will not only keep sending you emails to your parents and to you and trying to call your parents, um, trying to contact you, um, but I will. Uh, I, it's, there's someone cleaning the outside of our building, our house. Okay. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, Stranger danger. Um, I will not only keep sending emails trying to contact you, but I'll be passing your phone numbers, whatever information we have about you. I'll give your name to our administration and others who will be trying to contact you. Uh, it's not because you're in trouble, but it's because we're concerned about everyone. So if the reason you're not responding back is because you're tired or you don't feel like it or something like that, please Please know that we're spending a lot of energy trying to make sure we know that you're okay, that we we know that you understand how to keep your learning going um, so that you can get all your credits. And more importantly is your confidence. Like you like conquer high school. Don't just fizzle, fizzle it out, okay? Um, conquer it. Okay, one last thing. We've got a prize. Okay. So I've got the little uh, the bear cookie jar. I had it facing backwards. Okay, and I'm going to reach in here and see what your prize is. Oh, look at this. It's some kind of a, what do you think that is? It's uh, it's kind of weird. Okay, let me, let me dig deeper and try to see if I can find something else in here. Okay. Oh, look at what is this? Oh, it's a shark. Well, that's your prize for today. Um, I hope you have a good one. 
Uh, enjoy the learning this week. And as you know, you can keep in touch with me through that phone number I gave you um, through Google Voice, the 405 number. And you can uh, use Google Classroom to ask uh, questions on there. Um, and I'm so happy to be your teacher, so happy to learn with you and support you in your learning. Thanks. Pay attention, stay safe, and make it well, money.